the moon is the most important part of your chart to know period <laughs> so in this video i'm sharing what it means to have your moon in your fifth house you likely already know the sign that it's in but the house it is in is completely different your moon is your emotions and knowing your moon sign not only tells you your emotional patterns but it also shows you what you need for emotional fulfillment the house that your moon is in shows you where you seek that emotional fulfillment and as human beings who are naturally emo driven by emotions, we cannot avoid the fact that we are driven by emotions. Knowing the house that your moon is in can give you really fast shortcuts on how to find emotional fulfillment and how to get out of emotional patterns. So stay tuned to watch this video for what it means to have your moon specifically in your fifth house. Hello and welcome. My name is Isabel and I help you understand who you are using astrology, Enneagram and personality typing. I was what I call a Zodiac Zoe, where I obsessed over all these different personality typing systems because they gave me a sense of self knowing because I didn't understand myself growing up. I didn't understand myself even as I was getting older. I didn't understand what my desires were. I didn't understand my behaviors. If I, someone told me you want challenge the most, I would have been like, oh yeah, sure. Sounds about right. And I didn't understand myself no matter what I did. And I was very susceptible to other people's opinions of me and understanding and discovering my astrology and my personality types really helped me understand who I was. So today I'm sharing what it means to have your moon in your fifth house, because understanding my astrology has helped me understand who I am and live a life of fulfillment so that I can break free of my emotional patterns and live a life that is more simple and in alignment with my soul's unique energetic imprint. So if you know someone who has a moon in fifth house, or if you just discovered that you have a moon in fifth house, watch this video where I explain everything you need to know about having your moon in your fifth house, including what the moon even is in the first place and what a house is in the first place if you're new to astrology. What is the moon in our chart in the first place? The moon is our planet of emotions. It shows us what we need for emotional fulfillment. It shows us what our desires are. It shows us what our emotional patterns are as well. And that is based off of what sign your moon is in. So if you have a moon in Scorpio, for example, that is one of my most viewed videos on our channel. Uh, and if you're watching this, you've probably seen it. It's a, there's a chance. Uh, if you're a moon in Scorpio, you're an emotionally volatile and intense person. That means that your emotions take on the archetype qualities of Scorpio. Same applies for any other zodiac sign. If you have a moon in Aries, your moon will take on the archetype energy of Aries. But what does it mean to have a moon in a specific house? So while the moon has a zodiac archetype that it's in, and that shows the energy we embrace in our emotions, the house that your moon is in with that sign uh, shows you what area of life you're going to embrace those emotional energetic qualities and where you're going to seek that emotional fulfillment because the emotions or your moon is how you find emotional fulfillment. So in this video, I'm covering what it means to have your moon in the fifth house specifically. If you don't even know what that means, a fifth house, what is that it even? There are 12 houses in astrology and those represent the 12 areas of our life. Each house reflects a zodiac sign. So first house reflects Aries themes. Second house represents Taurus themes. This can help you understand the houses better because if you know the zodiac signs well, it can help you understand the areas of life better, these houses. The difference here is that the zodiac signs are the archetype energy we embrace and the house is the tangible, literal area in our life that we embrace them. So knowing what house your moon is in shows you where in your life you're going to seek emotional fulfillment and where you're going to experience these emotions the most. So what is the fifth house? I love the fifth house because my North node is in my fifth house and the fifth house is literally the most fun house because that's what the fifth house represents. The fifth house is the house of play, love, romance, flirting, and children. It is uh, reflects Leo themes. And if you know anything about the Leo archetype, Leo is confident, playful, loves to have fun, uh, loves to play with kids, loves to flirt with other people and live a life of flirt, uh, flirting and romance. So the fifth house is the area of life of play in short. 
It is where we, it is how we play. It is how we have fun with kids. It is how we flirt with other people. It is our early dating stage. It is what we think, uh, what it, our idea of fun is in short. So what does it mean to have your moon in that house? This means with a moon in fifth house, you're the kind of person who needs a lot of fun for emotional fulfillment. You are very playful with your emotions. You want to have fun and express your emotions in creative ways. The fifth house represents our creativity. So you tend to probably find a lot of emotional fulfillment through being creative. Maybe you enjoy writing poetry. Maybe you love creating art. Maybe you just love to build things or uh, destroy things, so to say, by exploding things as well. That is possible. You love to have fun and by having fun and being creative, you find a lot of emotional fulfillment. In the positive sense, the moon in fifth house is a very lighthearted person to be around. They seem to just be emotionally positive as much as possible. They're, we are constantly inspired by these people's creativity. They seem to enjoy the company of children. They get along with kids well and they can bring positivity to them. They know how to throw a party. They know how to bring positivity to the people around you and they seem to have the biggest hearts imaginable. However, with every positive to every moon sign, there is a negative. So what does the moon in fifth house struggle with? Because the fifth house has to do with play and fun, these people can seek fun so much for emotional fulfillment that they find themselves seeking it too much. So these people can have a hard time with having serious conversations because they just want to keep things lighthearted but they can also end up chasing fun to the degree where maybe they go to gambling, impulsive shopping, you name it. They may be just responsibility avoidant. And so if you have a moon in your fifth house, notice that tendency. Do you tend to flee uncomfortable situations? Do you tend to run from responsibilities at some point? Are you so addicted in loving of fun that you might need a little more balance in your life? Again, in the positive sense, these people are very fun to be around. They may have a bit of a dramatic flair that makes them uh, very entertaining but they might also be just so big hearted and have so much love to give that you do not want to take it for granted. The fifth house is generally about our expression. And so when the moon is in our fifth house, we can be very expressive with our emotions. Now, depending on what sign your moon is in is gonna show what kind of emotions you tend to express. If you have a moon in Aries, you're gonna express a lot of anger just because you are naturally a very passionate, fiery person. If you have a moon in Aquarius, you're gonna be emotionally detached and innovative. So whatever sign it's in, when applied to the fifth house, you're gonna express this nature very expressively. Some people may say that you're overly expressive with your emotions or even dramatic. And it's not that you're trying to be dramatic. They might just need to know that this is how you express emotions and you take things so lightly that you might as well just express it all. So notice how you express emotions. Notice how you are very expressive with your expression of emotions. And notice when you might need to reel that in to make people not concerned about you. And where is a healthy space for you to express that emotion? Like I said, the fifth house represents our creativity. And so having creative ways to express your emotions will be highly impactful for a fifth house moon. So maybe your creative outlet is writing. Maybe your creative outlet is painting. Creativity is just the act of creation. So you don't have to necessarily be an artist to express this emotion. You might want to go for exercise and go play and do learn a new thing, learn a new hobby, go for a run, go learn gymnastics to express this energy and release the energy. After all, uh, one impactful thing I learned about emotion is it is energy in motion, E motion. So moon and fifth house people can oftentimes relieve pent up frustration, pent up energy by moving it out. Find a playful way to move that fulfills you. Get around children that might be fulfilling as well. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment below and let me know what else you struggle with as a moon in fifth house. And let me know what sign it is in as well. And I can tell you a little bit about what that means. While you're down there, you want to grab the free birth chart workbook where I guide you through what how to understand your soul's unique energetic imprint in its basics. This is great for people who are new to astrology, and it's great for people who have read astrology a ton but don't quite understand 
how to apply the information of their chart to help them live their most fulfilling lives. I was that person for a long time and that's why I made this workbook to help you so that you can cut to the chase way faster than I did and live the life that you deserve to live that is in alignment with your soul's unique energetic imprint. So grab that free birth chart in the link below. If you're ready to learn more about your unique chart, I do offer 30 minute readings where you can ask any questions you want in 30 minutes and we can talk about anything. We can talk about just basics. We can talk about um, what your North Node is. We can talk about how different aspects play on each other. If you're interested in that, hit the link in the description below to book a reading with me. While you're down there, you probably wanna get 30 workbooks and courses for only $30. We're offering all of our workbooks and courses on chakras, astrology, Enneagram for only $30. That's the Making Mindfulness Fun Bundle in the link in the description below. I have no idea how long I'm gonna offer it for, so you probably just wanna grab that insane deal now. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and stay tuned for more videos on the moon through the houses. Once again, my name is Isabel and thank you so much for joining me today to watch this video. From my heart to yours, namaste.